Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand, everything. So if that is a subject that you're interested in learning about, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. Hi, so in today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different again. I'm gonna show you how you can create this listing here in Etsy. So this is a monogrammed uh, journal or notebook, hardcover, um, and it can be personalized to put pretty much any you know, monogram letter on it. So you can see the listing here. It's got the different photos. So this would be the main mock-up image and you can circle through the different ones. There's your back. It's got the little gold look and the inside. And so these are the different images. Now this notebook is available on um, Printify. So if you have a Printify shop linked with your Etsy account, then this is a listing that you can easily make yourself. Um, you can see personalization is added to the listing. So you can go ahead if you needed to and click there and then you would enter the letter that you want. Um, and so pretty easy. You can see um, as you start to scroll down, this is my Etsy shop, by the way, or one of my listings. Um, returns and exchanges not accepted. You usually wanna do that on Etsy if you're doing print on demand products or you can stand to lose quite a bit of money. And so most of the big sellers you'll see this listed that you cannot you know, return or accept. So something to consider. I also make them pay for shipping. Um, so I don't include that in my price. That way the price kind of stays a little bit lower. And again, you'll usually see that with some of the top sellers as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can recreate this listing right here. So if I was to go ahead and first jump right over to Printify, so here I am on Printify, um, you're gonna find that notebook if you're looking at the catalog. You will find it in the home and living section and you would find it down here, journals and notebooks. Now there's a lot of different ones that you can choose from. The one that I showed you is this one right here. It has the lowest price point and it is a nice hard cover. So this is the one that I used. And so you can pull that up right there. So from here, we can go ahead, scroll down. You can hit the start designing button and that's gonna pull up sort of the template for you. Now, if you were to go ahead and scroll down from here, you can see it'll say print file requirements and it will let you know the print area size. And so this is what you would go ahead then and um, make for your, um, your frame. So print size is uh, 4,065 pixels by 2,850 pixels. You can also um, download this, um, this template here, which is something you probably wanna do to make sure that you get everything centered where you want it. So right down here in this little button, it will say download design template. So you can click that and it should download the template for you. Then we can go ahead and jump over to Canva and start designing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go straight over to Canva. And I'm gonna select custom size. And so we'll go with the dimensions that it had mentioned. So the dimensions it gave you was 4,065 pixels by uh, 2,850 pixels right there. And we can hit create a new design. And so this is where we're designing. Now I can also pull up the template that I um, just downloaded. So if you go over to your left hand tabs and you go to the tab that says uploads, you can hit upload files and you can go ahead and upload that template that you just downloaded. And so here it is, I've got my template here and you can see I can drag it right across and it's gonna cover the whole thing. And so that is the area that I am working with. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sort of pick my overall background for the book. So you can do any kind of backdrop that you like. You could do solid colors, you can do a floral background, um, anything that you want. The listing that I showed you gave it a leather look. Now you do have to be careful again because that is not actually leather. It's just printed to look like leather. So you can't use the word leather anywhere in your listing or people will get very disappointed if they think that they're actually getting leather. But you can go up to elements and I went ahead and just put leather and you can do photos or graphics. I went ahead and looked for photos and there's all different photos 
of different leathers that you could use as your kind of background just to give it that sort of color or textured look. And so again, you can pick any of the ones that you like. I think I probably went with something, eh, maybe not that one, that one's look a little cracked. One of these looks kind of cool. So this one's kind of nice. I can bring it out something like that and that looks pretty cool and then i can go ahead and hit a control and left bracket it'll send it to the back so i still have my template on on the front and so that is how i can just pick a leather right there and again you could do anything you want here's one that actually looks like a book and it's even got a little bit of a binding look to it so you could do something like that let me see if i could even get the binding in the middle Oh, look at that it actually looks like it goes on perfectly and if I was to send that one to the back there you go you would get that sort of a look um, I don't particularly like that one it's a little bit dark for me but I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this one but you can pick anything you want and again it doesn't have to be leather you can go with fabric you could go with jean you could go with um, uh, burlap I mean you could go with anything that you want in terms of backdrops you could even just do floral backgrounds and see what comes up for floral backgrounds and so you could do any of these so that might look like a nice cover there and so you can really play with different you know background styles I went ahead and went with leather specifically because if you were to go I'm going to go back to my listing here and I'm just going to do a search and I'm going to do a search for journals on Etsy and we'll see what comes up. So as I'm looking for journals for Etsy, I'm gonna look at what seems to be the most popular. There's a lot of leather bound journals, a lot of more monogrammed journals or more just names, custom journals. Here's one that has sort of that gold flower look with the name. And so you can start to see what tends to be selling, what looks like it's popular. So I'm seeing a lot of customizable ones, a lot of ones that have the names or um, the monogram letters, a lot of ones that have the little flower outline designs. I'm seeing a lot of more leather bound ones or ones that look a little bit more leather bound. And so these are all what pops up when I put journal inside of an Etsy search. And so that gives you a little bit of an idea of sort of what's the top selling ones. Here's one that has the name going around the side. And most of these are customizable, which means that again, just like that, you can go ahead usually and select the name or whatnot you want on there. And so a lot of the customizable ones are the ones that are selling on Etsy right now. So it's always a good idea to offer customizable stuff. But anyways, that's how I came up with the general design style I did based on what's popular now on Etsy. So I can go right back over to my page. And so let's go ahead and with that in mind, I'm gonna pick um, a monogram letter and I'm gonna pick a little flower to put there. So let's go ahead and I think I went with monogram and I might have gone in with A. Monogram A and I could have gone with, oops. So there are a lot of monogram A graphics that you can pick from and so all sorts of different ones and different styles, ones that you can put like the name through the letter. And so you can pick anything that you think looks kind of nice. Um, these are all gonna allow you to sort of change that color. So that's nice too. And so you can just see, you know, all sorts of different letters that you can do that are fancy looking. With the idea of going with sort of that more floral look, the one that I was gonna do that I selected to look the best was this A right here looks pretty good because it's going to give you sort of that floral look. So that's one that looked nice. Um, I could do a floral A and see what comes up. So here's another one that looks kind of nice. It's got like sort of more of the um, sort of the flowers on the outside. And so again, you can, you can look through all of these, play with what you like. I'm also going to go ahead and go with more of a gold flower and see what comes up. And you can see lots of cool gold flowers that look very similar to what you saw on Etsy. So this one right here looked nice and simple. And so what I might do is put that centered in the back of the journal. And so because we have the template, I can see where the front and the back is and I can try to get it centered in the back. Same thing here, because I know where the front and back is, I can try to get this centered 
pretty well in the center of that. And now the A, I'm gonna go ahead and try to match more of this golden tone. So I can come here and I can just select one of the colors off of this. So whatever I think is going to match the best. So any of those look good. That one's gonna be a little bit brighter to show a little bit more. And that's a little bit of a darker gold. So you can sort of play with how that's gonna look, but that's pretty cool right there. And so you can already see the way that this is, is looking. Now, again, you could do a name, you could do uh, a letter and a name, you could do flowers on the, the front. I mean, you can be obviously as creative as you want with this, but it's, it's really that simple. So now that I have my basic thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of my template. And so now this is ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just title this A, because that's the letter I'm going with, and I'm just gonna go with journal and we will go ahead and just download it. It's a PNG, I don't have to do anything else to it, so I'm just gonna download as is. And then we can jump back over to Printify and go ahead and create the listing that way. So if I was to then jump over to Printify right where I was at, I can now go ahead, oops, didn't mean to do that, come over here, scroll up, and then I can add the design from my device. So if I click there, it'll pull up my downloads, and I can select the A journal that I just made. And it'll take a second to upload it, but it should put it right on the journal exactly as you saw it before. And so this is pretty quick and easy process to do. And then if you got a custom order and somebody said, hey, I want a K, it would be easy to go back over to your journal template and just change out the letters. Um, and so really easy to do. And there it is, pretty simple. So it's on there, it fills the whole thing. If you wanna see what it's gonna look like, we can go up to the top, we can hit preview. And here is going to be your preview right there. And so I can see how everything looks. Um, let's go ahead and get a front and a back. That looks pretty cool. Now you may notice, by the way, that the A looks a little bit off-centered. It is centered within the um, sort of the, the frame that it was given to you. Problem is, it's not necessarily centered. The frame itself is not necessarily centered in the book. And so even though this A is pretty centered, it doesn't quite look centered. If you wanted to play with that, it would be easy to go right back up to my journal and say, hey, I think I wanna move that over just a little bit. And I can do that with my arrow keys on my keyboard. I'm just using the left arrow key. And it would be really easy to just repeat the process. Hit download again, download it, jump right back over, and maybe upload another version and see if moving it over helped at all. And so to do that, again, super easy. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here. Oops. And I can delete it by just hitting this little trash can icon right here. And I can upload from my device a second version and see if the second version looks any better. And so you might have to fiddle with it initially. Um, whenever you're doing a scalable design, you wanna make sure that you get it right for the template. And then once you know you have your placement and everything's looking really perfect, then you can scale it out and you'll always have that sort of same placement. So it's worth making sure that everything actually looks good aesthetically when you look at the mock-up. And so we'll just check this out one more time and see if it looks any better. Okay, so here is the new one. I'm gonna go back up to preview and there's the preview of the new one. So it looks a little bit more centered this one than it did the last one. Even still, it looks like it's over to the right a little bit more, but not too bad. And so you can get your cover and your back. And the one I would go ahead and do it would be the context one, because I think that's gonna look the best as your main mock-up image. And so there it is. And so that is the main mock-up image that you saw. So if I was to go you know, back over to the listing that I had, had shown you guys, that's the mock-up image that you would see. So from here, you could hit save product. And here is where you could go ahead, select your main mock-up image. Um, you can add all of the images, make that one the main mock-up. I can go down, title and tags. Again, 
you can title it however you want but if you wanted to get good ideas off of Etsy I would go right back up to Etsy find one that kind of looks maybe similar to yours and see what kind of title and tags they used I mean this one's just listed Christmas gifts for women right um, and so these are some things that you can use personalized journal for women um, custom so these are the kind of words you want to use personalized leather journal you wouldn't want to use the word leather because it's not leather but personalized journal customized journal those are good things to use and so you can go ahead and look minimalist flower it's not really a birth month flower but you could say minimalist flower gift for her um, let's see gratitude journal and so you can use all of these in your title and that's how you can come up with something really good here's uh, a more of a monotone one here uh, this is more of a monogram one so this would be closer to what you would be doing and so we can look here what do they call it they have a personalized journal again you wouldn't want to use the word leather because it's not but personalized journal customized journal journal with a name personalized notebook personalized diary travel size mom gift and so you can sort of see what they do and this one has 20 plus in the cart so you can obviously see that this one is doing well and so that's just going to kind of give you an idea of how you can go about making some top sellers um, for for Etsy for your Etsy shop and so this is a good one you're able to personalize this one to um, 925 Wow, that's pretty cheap, isn't it? Um, they are gonna make you pay for shipping. And what I've seen for some of these, by the way, and I'm gonna make another video, I think, on Etsy pricing, because there's a lot of factors that go into Etsy pricing. Sometimes they will lower their price by raising the price of shipping. So I've seen some of these where the price looks really, really low, and you have to pay for shipping, and then the shipping's like $15. <laughs> and so it's one way to get people to click on there. I don't know how you feel about it. This one's not so bad. So this one's uh, $5.99. And again, returns and exchanges not accepted. And that's pretty typical for what you'll see for you know Etsy shops. Um, so anyways, back here, you would go ahead and make your title. I'd leave the description alone. I would use the automatic uh, shipping profile. Um, this is where you would set your price. So keep in mind, if you want to run a sale, you'll want to bump up the price. So if you wanted to sell this for $14.99, but you want it to be you know, 50% off, then you would have to double that as your retail price and then run the sale in Etsy. So lots of things to consider. This one shows a profit margin of 40%. I would always make sure that the price ends in 99. So instead of $14.80, I would go ahead and sell it at $14.99 if I was going to do it that way. I only like to show the variants that are in stock um, and I'm going to include everything including the mock-ups and then you could just go ahead and publish it to your shop and so that is how you can go ahead and create a cool um, monogram journal using Printify and Etsy. And now Etsy has a lot of things um, that you have to consider when you're making listings if you want to be successful as an Etsy shop. So I know this only covered just a tiny little bit, but if you have any questions or comments or videos that you want to see, go ahead, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I do have an ongoing list of videos that I intend to make, but it's just going to take a little bit of time. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing really well on your quarter four. I hope you guys are thinking about your first quarter designs, and I do hope to see you guys again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.